All right, Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much love, peace, and blessing to all you hopeful elect brothers out there that's pushing this truth across the four corners of the globe. I'm the brother not by Ayash, and I'm here with uh, Ashkayash. This is the GMS Indianapolis camp. Come with another lesson. Uh, get your mind right and GMS remain focused. Collaboration. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, today we're gonna be dealing with uh, First Corinthians eleven and uh, thirty, where it say, "For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep." Because you got a lot of people out here that's continuously more and more teaching false doctrine. They trying their best to de to debunk the he Hebrew Israelite doctrine or the true doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. See what I'm saying? That's why they steady coming out the woodworks with this Jesus Christ and all Israelites is dark skin and you know all this all this madness, man. You know that this outs that's really really like the scriptures say profane the temple, which means outside the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of this truth, man. You see what I'm saying? So we're gonna start off with First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse uh, twenty-seven. First Corinthians 11 and 27, it said, Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord, you have by Shema Shai, unworthily. So it, it's talking about what? Partaking of this truth. When you open this Bible up and read the scriptures and crack this book open, you're what? Partaking of the Lord's uh, body, eating the bread and drinking of the cup. Go ahead. God, it says, uh, Unworthily shall be See, guilty. It said unworthily. How are you eating of it unworthily? When you what? Coming up with your own doctrine and false doctrine and lying to the people. See what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. And it says, uh, shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. See, it said you shall be guilty. Not not innocent, but it said guilty. Go ahead. It said, but let a man examine himself. And so let him eat of that bread and and, and that and drink of that cup. Because the scripture tells us what? To examine ourselves to see whether we be in the faith. Okay. But a lot of y'all don't examine yourself. You examine and everybody else except yourself. It's everybody else's fault except yours. The reason why you teach them false doctrine and uh, mis uh, blaspheme the name of the Lord and all this nonsense. Because why? You haven't examined yourself. Go ahead. It says, but it said, but let every, but let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, like your church pastors out there, go ahead, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. Mm -hmm. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many shall sleep. See, it said, for this cause many are weak and sickly. Among you and many sleep. Why? Because they don't ha have the strength of Yahweh by Shem because they're not partaking of this word the correct way. Okay, okay. What you got, bro? I, I read on that. Bro. You see what I'm saying? So when you out here teaching false doctrine, that means what? You're weak and sick and, and sleep. See what I'm saying? You're not awoke. You're still in, the, in that dead state of mind. You're in that dead spirit. See what I'm saying? Because what gives us strength? This word. Keep going. Go ahead, bro. Couple, couple more uh, Go ahead. verses. It says, this is verse 31. It says, For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. And that goes back to what? Examining yourself. Right. Right. Go ahead, bro. What you got to say? I was just saying it. That's exactly what it meant. Going back and examining yourself, looking yourself in the mirror, and uh, uh, making sure that you're teaching the correct doctrine. All right? And you got to learn the correct doctrine first, man. Because there's a lot of people out here just going, going out on a whim. You know, just doing their own thing, man. They hear the scriptures, but they, they don't understand them. And they just call themselves teachers and teaching these all these different things. that they, The first thing that come to their mind, all right, without studying, all right? Like it's in Timothy, uh, if, I'm going to get that real quick. But I'm going to read this, uh, verse 32. It says, but when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord that we should not be, be condemned with the world. All right, so when we start looking at ourselves in the mirror... All right, and and, and 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 doing the things that we're supposed to do, or if we go out on the whim and the Lord judges, man, hey man, He's chastening us because why? We did the wrong thing, and we and it's, it's it's easily to get caught up into your own thing, man. All right, or teaching false doctrines if you're not in the spirit. So, 
you got to be careful of all these things, man. All right? Because the Lord can actually kill us for, for misinterpreting his word. That's right. And doing our own thing. I'm going to get this, if you don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. Because the scripture said the Lord chastens those that he loves. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So if the Lord chastens you because he loves you and he dwells with you, uh, he, he he don't look at you as a, as a bastard because if the Lord ain't dealing with you, then the scriptures say he looks at you as a bastard. Okay. See right. what I'm saying? Right. Go ahead, bro. This is uh, 2 Timothy, uh, this is 2 and 15. It says, study to show thyself approved unto you. How about Shem Shai, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. All right? So you got to study these scriptures, man. You just can't go out on a whim. All right? You got to study them and, and and also listen to the apostles and the elders, man. People that have been doing it for years, who the Lord have revealed his secrets to, man. All right? You got to listen to them, man. You can't put yourself on a pedestal, so to speak. But you got to really study to show yourself approved, man. Rightly divide it, man. And rightly uh, teach this doctrine, man. All right? Go ahead, bro. Yep, because that's why... You got people like here in Indianapolis, you got this dude running around calling himself King Superman right. who stated hollering about Jesus Christ. Well, for that reason, like like the scriptures uh, say back in 1 Corinthians 11 and uh, 30, right. for this cause, many are weak. They have no strength. What well, gives you strength? The word of Yahweh by Shem Shah and sickly among you and many sleep. Because why? He's calling on a false god. He's calling on actually a demon, a demonic force. When you call on Jesus Christ, that's really Serapis Christus. That's a demonic force. Okay. So, why? You're weak and sickly among you. Just like I have on the screen, the definition of sick mean what? Affected by physical or mental illness. <laughs> okay. So, when you teach them false doctrine, you're suffering from a mental illness. You basically retarded. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So you're sick mentally because why? Spiritually too. Yep. Say it again, bro. Spiritually. Yep. You're spiritually sick, man. That's right. All right. Teaching these false doctrines, man. Why? Because you didn't take the time out uh, to to uh, study or take the time out to listen to a video that's correct. You didn't take the time out to do these things, and now you're teaching all these false doctrines, man. All right. In your own head, you're right. All right. But to, but we we know you're wrong. Like the guy just told me that all Israelites was brown, brown, going to be melanated. When the scriptures say we clearly would uh, be scattered everywhere until every nation. All right? Go ahead, bro. Right. So the, the next definition of sick, it says feeling nauseous and wanting to vomit. <laughs> so that's what, that's what happened when you teach me false doctrine. You're spewing out madness. You're vomiting. You see? Right, right. Good. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Because you're not in your right frame of mind. You're sick from these false doctrines, man. That's right. You know? That's right. What you, what, what you got, bro? Uh, what you got, bro? Uh, Romans 14 and 23. Okay. Romans 14 and 23. Romans 14 and 23 says, And he that doubteth is damned, if he eateth, because he eateth not of the faith. For whatsoever is not of faith is in his sin. Mm -hmm. So, right. go ahead, bro. No, go ahead. He said, whatever is not faith is sin. Because it says in Hebrew, it says, uh, without faith is it impossible to please you by saying you shy, man. That's right. All right. And, 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 and the elect are the only people on this face of this earth that are going to have that faith, man. All right, to do the right thing, to teach the right thing. All right? It said, but it said, but I'm going to read this again, saying, he that doubted is damned. All right? And this goes back to James. All right? You'll be tossed to and fro everywhere in the doctrine when you doubt, man. That's why it's so easy for, for a lot of uh, 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 people to, uh, to uh, teach false doctrine because they, the, they don't have faith. All right? They don't have the faith of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. And scriptures say, uh, faith is, is a gift. All right? That's something that he gives to the elect. All right? It's, it says, And he that doubted is damned if he eat because he eateth not of faith. For whatsoever is not of faith is a sin. All right? And we know the, uh, that's why he said you asleep because the wages of sin is death, man. The Lord will kill you, man. 
All right. That's right. That's right, bro. Uh, I'm going to get the scripture right quick. Isaiah 19 and 14. It said, The Lord have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. And it's not just talking about sodomy or homosexuality. It's also talking about these false doctrines, too. Because that's a perverse spirit. What book I hear, Isaiah, what's that? Uh, 19 and 14. Okay. You see what I'm saying? What makes it perverse? When you're teaching a, a, against the law, said the commandments of you, how about Shema Vashai? When you're teaching your own doctrine, that's perverse. Okay. See what I'm saying? It said, the Lord have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every word thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. And that's what's going on here in Egypt, a.k.a. America. It's causing these people to stagger from what? These false doctrines, that's also known as wine. Okay. These other philosophies and false doctrines. And it said, uh, in every word thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. <laughs> Ain't that one of the definitions of sick is feeling nauseous and wanting to vomit? So what are they vomiting? Them them false doctrines. You know what I'm saying? Like what saying that Yahweh Shai's name is not Yahweh Shai, saying that the earth is flat, saying the mark of the beast is drinking a a, a, a Kool-Aid uh fruit punch pouch. You see what I'm saying? All these this this madness is being spewed out of these people's mouth. Huh? Why? Because they're sick, they're suffering. From a physical or mental illness. Okay, Why? Because it eateth of the Lord unworthily. Okay. See what I'm saying? What okay. you got, bro? I got Titus. It's Titus uh, chapter 1. I'm going to start at verse 9. It says, Holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers Especially of the circumcision, all right? So you Israelites, man, you, you got it bad, man. All right? We expect the other nations to, to not uh, 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 understand or to teach false doctrines, man. All right? But the, 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 the Bible is for, for the Israelites, man. And you, and you read the same words that we read but still teach false doctrines, man. Why? Because the Lord ain't dealing with you. At the end of the day, he's not dealing with you, man. Mm -hmm. And it's and it is hurting y'all feelings that the Lord has gave uh, 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 people on this earth, the, the brothers, mainly namely GMS, the truth, man, the hundred percent truth. That's right. And it's and it's killing people, man. It's killing them softly because they jealous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's killing them, bro. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but but y'all mouths got to be stopped, and that's why we come up against y'all, man. All right, because we ain't, we ain't going to let nobody tear down the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. We're not going to let y'all, no matter how minute it is, we're not going to let you get away with it, man. We're going to, well, we are defenders of the gospel, man. Well, what the scripture say? A little leaven, leaven with the whole lump. Come, 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 bro. All right, keep going. Go yeah, ahead, bro. Gun. It says, for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. All right? And that's really in the church houses, man. Right? Israelites, too. Israelites, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Con. Con. You got, what was his name? Comfy. Yeah. Out here, millions of dollars, man. Just saying what he wants, spewing out madness, man. The Lord judged him, though. All right? He stopped his mouth. Now he's in the federal penitentiary, man. Yep. <laughs> Where he should be. He should have got worse than that, but hey, whatever, man. <laughs> he, was, he was sick, suffering. That's right, suffering sick. from physical or mental, mental illness. illness yeah. <laughs> uh, that's right, he was sick. Uh, <laughs> Need some milk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It says, uh, "I'm gonna go down. To, I'm gonna read to verse uh, 16, if you don't mind." Go ahead, it bro. Says, one of the one of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said. To crustaceans are always liars, evil beasts, slow, so slow bellies. The this witness is true, where, wherefore to rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith. All right, so that's why we come with that rebuke. All right, that's why we correct you all. It's not out that we hate you, man. It's really out of love, man. Hey, you teaching the Lord's word wrong, man. He can kill you for this, man. So we're trying to correct you. We we're showing you a love. Now, how you take it is how you take it, but. We really show you love, man. At the end of the day, 
But if you can't understand that it's love, well, you're suffering from mental, mental illness. illness. <laughs> you're sick. You're sick. All right? <laughs> yep. All right, you, you got something? You look at it like it's hate, but like the brother said, it's love. See, y'all got the mental illness from Esau because Esau teach you that when a person correct you, they hate you. Right. But when a person lets you slide with your weakness, they love you. That's that's mental illness, man. See what I'm saying? So, like the scripture said that we read in 1 Corinthians, for this cause, many are weak and sick, sickly among you, and sleep. That's why a lot of y'all are dead. Y'all don't know what's going on through the spirit. You know what I'm saying? There's been many, many more uh, chariot sightings in the sky. I mean, so many that's going on, you can't even count them no more. All right. But you people asleep. You don't know what's going on. Just like the other night, was it last week? Last, uh, this past weekend? No, the weekend before that. It was a, a really a, a chariot sighting, but NASA blamed it on orange fireball just flying through the sky. They said it was a meteor shower. No, those are the chariots of the Lord flying yeah, through the sky. That's right, man. <laughs> See what I'm saying? But that go, goes back to what? That mental illness that you people fall victim to because you don't look up nothing, man. That's right. That's why the scripture is clearly in, in Timothy. It says, study to show thyself approved. There you go. And you have to rightly divide these scriptures, man. You got to rightly, uh, uh, you got to know what you're talking about, man. That's right. That's why you, the apostles teach us to go through history. That's right. History, uh, looking up words in the Greek and the Latin Come. and the Hebrew. All right. We do those things. Why? Because so we can rightly divide the words of Yah by Shemar Shah. So we by out here teaching a lot. That's right. So that the scripture in and in a, in a Corinthians won't come upon us, man. That's right. All right. We won't get we won't be uh sleep or sick. Or weak. Or weak. Yep. All right. We don't want that to happen to us, man. So we do the things necessary for that not to uh happen to us, man. That's all right. right. You got something, bro? Nah, that's all I got, bro. You got something? Honestly, bro. Hey, so quick we hit. just came with this quick hit through the spirit. Empower Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah. So with that, want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much love, peace, and blessing to all you hopefully like brothers out there that's pushing the truth across the four corners of the globe. With that, a bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. Shalom. Shalom.